Memorial Stadium in Champaign, Illinois. It was renovated in 2006, but the iconic colonnades and brick facade remain in this beautiful arena. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Iowa State has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He just drills this one. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Scrambling around. And down he goes around the 29-yard line. And a good decision there. Yeah, if he didn't have anybody open downfield, and instead of panicking and throwing the ball into coverage or maybe throwing the ball away, he had the composure to recognize the open field and had the athletic ability to get the first down. That's a nice job. Pitch play to the left. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. He can't get back to the line of scrimmage. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Here's third down. Four yards to go. Ball on their own 35. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He goes out of bounds. Around the 37-yard line. to about the 37-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Caught open field. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. That brings up second and five. Works the middle. He's got his tailback. He's taken down at about the 45. First down. Still on his feet. That's a great tackle at the 25. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. A lot of concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. From the 25-yard line, first down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number six, the intended receiver. That makes it second and ten. with room to work. He's out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. And he's level at the 11-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Now he pitches it. He gets hit out of bounds around the two-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he's 
taken down at the one. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Cyclones. the PAT. A nine-play, 63-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Down at the 27. The Cyclones are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's under pressure. Tackle at the 32. That's good for a game. The ball is loose. It's picked up. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. After reviewing the play, the rule on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. He scrambled. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. And they make the stop at the 39. That brings up third and 12. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 44-yard line. They get five yards on the play. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Iowa State up seven points. And now the ball is loose. Scooped up by the offense. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 34. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He steps out at the 41 yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down at the 47. Gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. I got one, I got one, I got one. Three in the fight. 
He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Iowa State. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Number 24 at the tackle at the 32-yard line. Iowa State is up by a touchdown. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Taken down in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. It's the ninth play of the drive. Flips it middle to the running back. He's tackled at the 24 yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 36. steam on that throw that tackle could have saved a very big play using the run fake and getting the tight end involved in the passing game there's a lot to prepare for when you play against them and sometimes it's very difficult to stop he's gonna try and scramble now he's gonna run and watch out and he hits him hard at the 12-yard line Slings it. And that sets them up for the first and goal. And he just gets rid of it. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. From the two-yard line, second down. He's on the run. They bring him down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. They're going to pitch it. Touchdown, finding a line eye. Nice run and a 
score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. Illinois is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Swings it out left to the halfback. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. I got two. I got two. No, no, no. Check that. Check that. We're Mike Let's go, man. Quick out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 45. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. He fields the punt at the 16. He's tackled at the 22. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Loss of seven. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Steps up in the pocket. And he's immediately tackled. Number 27. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle at the 35. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. From their own 35-yard line. It's first down. Excellent open field tackle. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Got his back, but he can't hang on. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And 
he'll get him in the backfield. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. The Cyclones wide receiver had to leave the game earlier with that injury. And the word we're getting now, unlikely to see any further action in this one. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. We played a half of football. We're even at seven in this one. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need. Got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. And down he goes at the 19. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He has some room. Makes it out to about the 33. He's hit and taken down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. So we're looking at another third down here. Six. 
Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Three-yard loss there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. He scrambles. He's at midfield. Slides down. This is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. the 41. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 41. He goes out of bounds at the 40. play by that defender. That was solid fundamental pass defense. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Gets it away. Wait a minute. He's going to throw. No good on fourth down. Big stop by the defense. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. quickly and he's got his man brought down right around the 44 yard line number 24 brings him down to the 44 yard line that makes it first and 10 fires out to his receiver he's at the 30 he's at the 20 to the 10 and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 7 and the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do oh he sure does and he doesn't disappoint either great athletic ability and a quick throw touchdown Cyclones the PAT. 
So a four play 60 yard drive and they come away with seven points. The score now 14 7 Iowa State the kick nice kick plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Iowa State's the type of team when you look at them it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there Brad but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. And down he goes around the 38 yard line. At about the 37 yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Got him, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of two on the play. That brings up third and 12. Third down and 12. Ball on the 35 yard line. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. From the 47 yard line. First down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. Nice play fake. And he's tackled in the open field. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. That'll bring up fourth and five. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. 14-7, Cyclone. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Iowa State is up a score. Fires it out. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. That's good for a game. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at the 28. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football, and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action fast, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big play. He gets to about the five. That makes it second and two. Touchdown, Iowa State.
It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 58-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Now is when you have to get the ball to your impact players. Down two possessions. If these guys wait any longer to step up, it's going to be too late. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. A balance throw got him anyway. Very good tackle in space. About six yards on the play. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. Gets out to around the 48. Run up the middle. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Here we go. Green on the side. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 36. Gonna try and scramble. They'll bring him down around the 29 yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Just under three to go in regulation. He's on the run. They bring him down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three down, three down. New Mike 52, Set. Mike 52. Green 90. Green 90. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. Tries to buy some time, and he's level at the 22-yard line. Quick pass. What a play, and that is first and goal. Throw caught touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Illinois, kick this one off. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. 
Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Illinois is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Just under two to go in the game. And he hits him hard at the 36-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Nice run there. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of five yards. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. After a decent run up the gut. Gain of six yards. First down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. It's final. A close one to the very end. 21-14, Iowa State. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nestler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.